So it's been almost a month now that we've had access to the new macOS Ventura through the developer beta platform. We should be seeing a public beta release within the next week or so. And I've been using said developer beta for pretty much almost a month now on my main daily driver iMac. Oh, it's a really dangerous thing to do. And we'll talk about that in a couple minutes here. And it's been a pretty interesting experience. So I figured before the public beta drops here, I'd give you a little bit of info on my time with the developer beta of macOS 13 Ventura. So let's start with the most obvious change, the thing that you're gonna see as soon as you update new wallpaper. Yeah, big, big feature, right? But in all seriousness, it looks really nice. Complements my iMac pretty well, but it, it looks nice. We'll start off first with one of the biggest features, and that is Stage Manager. Now, in my honest opinion, Stage Manager feels like an iPad feature that they introduced on the Mac first to say that a Mac feature is making its way down to the iPad. And I'll go into a little bit of what that's supposed to mean. So Stage Manager clears off your desktop of all your open windows and kind of stacks them over here and really allows you to focus on one app at a time or one window at a time. You can drag multiple in. So if you want like Chrome and, and messages and a finder window, you can have those there and then switch to, I don't know, mail or something. And then back to your group of three and they will retain their position and, and grouping. It's all right. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of like virtual desktops, something that we already have in Mac OS, which is why I kind of feel like it's, it's an iPad feature that, that was introduced at the keynote first as a Mac feature. So they could say it's coming down to iPad. We already have spaces. Like we've had spaces since Leopard. And that was like, what? Oh, eight, oh, nine. It was, it was a while ago. Again, it, it's an iPad feature that they brought to the Mac to say that it's a Mac feature. Right now, as it stands, it's not for me. Continuity camera is, is another one of the big features and so far it works pretty well. There's no setup, there's no cords or, or, or strings attached or anything. It's just, well, you have to have iOS 16. So the developer beta or public beta when it comes out, but it's it just works. And it just works really, really well. It knows that your iPhone is on near and has a camera and it just talks to it and says, all right, we want to use you as a camera. Let's do that. And it, does, it doesn't even have to turn on the display. It, it will turn it on to let you know, hey, we're connecting to this phone, but you can let that time out. And it, it, the video, the video is clean. The audio is crisp. For a first beta, I'm impressed. Now live text is something that I use a lot on the iPhone, not so much on the Mac, but I feel like that's gonna change. You can now pause videos and copy text straight from within the video. That's that's really cool. Uh, so again, first beta, second beta, it works pretty well. It, does, it hasn't worked in everything that I've tried, but Safari, watching YouTube on Safari, it's it's pretty consistent. And then they also bring that to quick looks. So like if you click on a document and press space, you can now pull text straight out of that, which I could have sworn was a thing we already had, but you had to like dig through settings to find it, or you had to run a terminal command to make it work. I could have sworn we had that at one point. And another thing in quick look is you can now copy subjects of an image straight out of that image and do whatever you want with it. And it is crazy fast. It's also crazy accurate. Now it does does mess up sometimes. It's not perfect. Again, it's it's beta one, beta two with this strong of a showing already. I'm pretty confident in how well this is going to come out. And hopefully a la portrait mode on the iPhone 7 plus over time, it'll evolve and get smarter and better and faster. I think that this is if it works well, which it kind of does, this could be the death of those like fake PNGs, you know, like those those images like you, you go to search for like iPhone PNG and like it looks like it has the checkerboard transparent background, but it's actually baked into the image itself. It just it, it lifts the image right out of that and you can do whatever. I've been waiting forever for this forever and it just works. It just works seamlessly. It just works. It's quick. It's simple. I love it. And now on to some smaller things. We now have a clock and a weather app, which seem to be ported straight from the iPad. Now that there is a clock app, you can do timers and stopwatches and all that kind of stuff, which again, I could have sworn we had at some point in the past. In mail, you can now schedule to send emails. So if you want to send something at like eight in the morning, but you know you're not going to be awake and you don't want to wake up to send it, your Mac will take care of that for you. And you also have a little bit of a, a window where you can undo 
to that send. And then messages, we see some of the same stuff. You can edit messages after you send them. Only iMessage though. If you're a uh, your green bubble boy, sorry. You gotta live with that weird text you sent. And you can also undo send. So everything's been all hunky-dory, right? Wrong, wrong. There was one major, major issue that I encountered, and this is in beta two. Um, after updating to beta two, uh, Final Cut broke. I could open it and like make new libraries and, and projects and whatever. But when I go to like import media, it says it's missing. It's not there, it doesn't exist. So I thought, okay, well maybe it's an issue with like using the import menu. So I copied my project to my desktop, went to drag and drop in and it still said it doesn't exist. And it did this to every project I've ever worked on, every clip every audio every transition everything was a red marker saying this isn't real sorry don't know what to tell you so um yeah that's that's why this video is is a week and a half late it is because i've been fighting my imac to uh to actually be able to edit and and post videos i did solve it but i had to downgrade back to beta one now i'm sure most of you are thinking well if you're having issues with the beta why not just go back to stable monterey beta one was pretty stable for me and it's continues to be pretty stable. So I, I want access to the features, especially the, the quick look stuff. Beta one works. I'm not gonna go further back than that. And also I've got some other videos in the pipes that require Ventura. Now just a brief update on what's supported. The 2017 MacBook is the only MacBook supported. 2017 MacBook Pros and later. 2017 iMacs and later. MacBook Air 2018, Mac Mini 2018, Mac Pro 19, and Mac Studio are all supported. Anything older than that, Pray that DOS Dude 1 has something coming up for that, but uh, Apple ain't gonna help you. So uh, Intel, Intel Macs are biting the dust pretty quick now, which kind of sucks, but we all knew it was coming. It's Apple after all. It's, it's their way of the highway. So after the month that I've had and the experience and the ups and the downs, what are my thoughts so far? Well, uh... As of beta one, they're pretty good. Beta two, uh, I, don't, I don't like it that much because it prevents me from doing my job, but beta one seems good. I'm sure they'll have most of any major issues that I haven't run into, but other people have. I'm sure they'll have those ironed out by um, beta three and public beta one. So if you're looking to play around with it, should you? Yeah, I mean, like I'd give it a shot. I'd, I'd at least set up a new volume and install it on that. Don't get rid of Monterey. Don't get rid of, you know, whatever currently works for you just in case Ventura doesn't work. But yeah, if you want to play around with it, go ahead. It's a pretty cool update. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. Let me know, are you using Ventura? Do you plan to update to Ventura when it comes out? I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully not a week and a half from now.